<laughs> okay, I'm Dennis Scraba. Uh, we're with Amigo Relief Missions. I grew up with Ed Selma, so he kind of pulled me in on this one to help him out because we've been shipping containers to Ukraine now for many years. We've sent a number of containers with the Edmonton firefighters to Ukraine. And uh, in Ukraine, we have a very strong base uh, in Lviv, uh, Lutsk, uh, Zhytomyr, Zaporizhia, and Chernovtsi, where we uh, work with different groups there who look after a good number of orphanages. We've got six orphanages around Lviv we look after. Uh, in uh, Zhytomyr, we have a widow's home that we built now 10 years ago and uh, a men's rehab and we've got the men's rehab a couple men's rehab one doing a big bakery we started it and found they had some bakers and they're making all kind of money and and surviving very well on their own funds uh, also the uh, men's rehab in outside of Jatomer, we've got gardens apple trees they've got 10 cows they're making cheese uh, they're wow. quite self-sufficient uh, we just bought another five hectares of land there and they're going to be planting it with gardens with the war on, there's gonna be a shortage of food and these guys know it and there's no Russia, no nothing there. And so they're gonna be planting as much as they can. We just sent them another thousand dollars to buy seed so that they can plant a bigger garden than they usually plant because they know there's gonna be a shortage of food after the war or whatever happens. So uh, yeah, we're involved and, and with this, Ed Thelma kind of got me into uh, getting this set up and uh, helping to sort it. We've worked with customs and the airplane and so we understand what's needed to be done. I mean, we have to even like get the pallets checked out because they don't allow, they have to be international pallets. Wow. Ours could have parasites in them, so it's a problem. Oh wow. So uh, all kind of detail, how high, how wide, and, and uh, what can be shipped, anything with alcohol can't go on the airplane. And so the remainder, there's going to be a lot of stuff left over. We'll go on the sea cans probably. We'll be shipping a container or two over to Ukraine. And, and over there in Lviv especially, we have very good distribution. A lot of people come to the seminary we work out of and their trucks always picking up. They've got containers, they've got storage space. And they've always been very, very honest with us. And in many places, I couldn't work with government guys because of the corruption. But with a lot of the different church groups has been fantastic. And we're multi-denominational, we're not tied to one uh, church, one one religion, we've worked with all of them. And so, uh, and... I'm hearing that this is third, third one, third train already, plane, sorry, third plane already. No. Could you clarify that? No, this is the second plane. A second one. A and we are considering a third one. Okay. I mean, the first one was kind of funny because the guy phoned and says, can I pay with Bitcoin? <laughs> and we said no, 260,000. Okay, I'm gonna send it by uh, banking. We'll, we'll uh, send you a uh, bank draft. And uh, yeah, next day the money was here. Oh, wow. So uh, oh, wow. yeah, and his dad is apparently here in Edmonton, Ukrainian boy, mm -hmm. done very well. He's mm -hmm. in California. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of an interesting situation. So. Thank you so much for your time. Good. Thank you. All right. Hi, my name is Maureen Scraba. I'm married to Dennis. Um, we have been working here sorting and packing and it is overwhelming. Um, medical stuff is so needed. We've talked to the warehouse in Poland and uh, this is just a small example of um, things that have come in. We haven't even begun to sort this table. So um, yeah, and uh, lots of diapers and um, yeah, clothes and toothpaste and toothbrushes oh, we wow. have a lot i'm hearing the 5000 bandages coming today as well oh. i talked to someone okay the, someone is coming here with the three okay. boxes the more supplies coming yeah we don't we don't even have enough tables to sort everything uh -huh. <laughs> but um yeah uh eventually it will get over there and uh the airplane will take so much and we'll have to figure out how to get the rest of it there and then uh, it will get when the plane arrives I think the afternoon of Monday the 28th and then it returns to Warsaw uh, on Tuesday so um, I believe there may be some passengers coming on that plane but of course they've all had to go to 
um, the embassy in Warsaw and get the proper paperwork and also have established family or friends here I that see. they could go to. Oh, wow. That's good news. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. We'll see and we're actually going to have to go get some more warehouse space I believe because we've got another truck coming in from the Polish uh, hall. Uh, Dennis has pickups on Thursday out in Fort Saskatchewan and you can see we're running out of space to have them okay. on him. Thanks for your time. I don't okay. like being trapped anymore. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yes. A few years ago, Dennis Scrabler took a team of us from our church over. We went over to put a building on a church in Trin FC. And being over there and meeting the people over there, the churches and just the people in general, and just that contact that I had with them and now to see the disaster, the atrocity that's happening over in Ukraine right now is unbearable. I am retired now and so I have time and so I'm here just to join in so that and I'm absolutely astounded at the response that we have here for the amount of material that has gone out and that we have here today and so many people and, and there's different nationalities, there's different uh, church uh, backgrounds, etc. Everybody is here. We're all working together. It's just amazing how everybody has come together so well and to see just the response and to see the, the new material, so many that we don't even have to sort. We just put on pallets and, and send them out because they're in boxes. And it's just such a wonderful thing to see how the, how the Canadians and Edmontonians have responded and those around Edmonton. And so I'm really grateful for that to see that we can help these folk and even the folk in Poland, because in areas like this where the refugees have run into, the immigrants have gone out because of the disaster where they've had to flee from. And it's just, it's a very small thing that we can do to help them. Mm -hmm. And our prayers are with those precious people. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and to see the Polish response here, we had two big trucks in yesterday to unload here. Yes. And it was just a wonderful And response. I believe two more trucks will be coming tomorrow as well. Yes, yes. This is so wonderful. So that's what. So thank you to the folk out there that are responding so tremendously. Я зовут Наталья Гренко, и я сама из Украины, из Чернигівської области. Я находюсь в Канаде два года, и я решила помочь пройти сюда людям, потому что это моя страна, и, до речі, это уже не первый мой раз, как я тут. Потому что я очень хвилююся. в Украине остались мои друзья и моя мама, и это очень важно для меня. Я маю надію, что все эти товары, продукты, медицинские какие-то средства дойдут туда и смогут помочь. Thank you. What's your name, may I ask you? Uh, Ray Lucician. And the uh, reason why you here? Such horrible things going on in Ukraine. and uh, We're trying to help as much as we can. So donating things, and there's lots of charities that are raising funds. Uh, I'm retired now, so I have a little bit of time. So I thought I'd come and uh, help with everything that's been donated. Wonderful. This is a uh, first uh, day here in that warehouse? No, this or? is third day now. I'm just trying to make some order. Uh, the pile over there is straight off the truck. And then we've got people sorting medical over there. And clothing. And I'm seeing some fire equipment as well. Yeah, yeah. I guess the Fire firefighters are part of this organizing groups well. so mm -hmm. a bunch of them brought equipment and um, yeah it's really great to see this all this stuff this is wonderful wonderful thank you so yeah. much for your time thank you You're welcome thank you